Moving on, a grilling session where CIA Deputy Governor William Odwal was to substantiate his recent remarks against the management of the local county government has been postponed. The Assembly ruled that the Deputy Governor had failed to furnish members with evidence. The motion to summon the deputy governor was moved by Yimbo East representative Francis Otiato, who sought leave of the house to have William O'Dwell shed light on his allegations about the mismanagement of the county. Personally, I did make a request that as assembly and as an oversight, we can present a perfect platform for us to hear the frustrations the ward representatives, however, refused to listen to the deputy governor, accusing him of failing to table his evidence. There is nothing like the secure document. The role of this assembly is to oversight. So meaning any wrongdoing which the DG has from the executive where he sits and is ready to table this house, he must be able to defend that document. Even if somebody else tries to make it correct. The court is limited and has given you uh, two days. Prior to your close business, we present documents. We will look at those documents and for information's sake, we will analyze the documents, uh, talk to the relevant people, or seek clarification from relevant people, then we will consider the next course of action. The deputy governor has in the recent months been at loggerheads with his boss, Governor James Orengo, over alleged mismanagement. He has been accusing a syndicate in Orengo's office of targeting top officials from their Lego Usonga constituency for removal from office, interfering with the implementation of projects in the vast constituency. The deputy governor has also been claiming that he has been sidelined from the day-to-day -day activities in the county government and has been reduced to just reading newspapers and taking tea in the office while his security detail and chase car have been withdrawn. Jacqueline Masharia for Lunchtime News.